All right, we're back. Uh, I've got a welcome back to everyone. I'm going to quick hit our do post some updates here, so we'll give people a minute to filter and back in. I've been taking this time to make my own sauerkraut. Nice. Is it sour? I assume that's something you want out of sauerkraut. Not yet, just salty and fresh, like me. Zing! Nice. Takes several days to get sour. Well, that's awfully misleading. You should just call it kraut. Well, you can't just say that. You can't just say things like that. <laughs> server and I'm not worrying about Twitter. So it should be good. Okay. Alright, so um I'll go ahead and close that stuff down. So uh as let's call it baby sauerkraut then. <laughs> Alright, so as some of you might notice I am uh I've got the uh Super Nintendo version of Wario's Woods loaded up here. Um Wait, holy shit, there's an SNES version of Wario's Woods. There sure is. Uh, there yep. are two distinct versions of the game. There's the one on NES, which is probably a bit better known. Um, it's in a million re-releases and stuff. Um, uh, famously, depending on how you're counting it, the last uh, game released for the uh, NES in 1994. Uh the only competition is whether you count uh, The Lion King on NES coming out after it or not, which, depending on the metric you're using, is the case, but... Uh, I had no fucking clue, probably because people only ever talk about this game in the context of the last NES game. Yes, indeedy, it is in- it did in fact get a port on, uh, Super Nintendo as well. Uh, and it's actually kind of a different game. Um, the... I say, uh, having never played it, um, it's the same the core, core game, but, is still, um, yeah. the gameplay is the same, but, uh, like, characters are different and stuff like that, um, I'm given to understand the Super Nintendo versions better, I'll admit the NES version has never really grabbed me, so I can't really comment on that, but, um, I've always wanted to play the Super Nintendo version, so here we go. It, it i played both of them, and either way, it takes a lot to figure out its weird sense of logic. It's a very strange puzzle game. Um, but... Let's see. Do indie devs releasing hard copies of NES games decades after the fact count? No. Um, looking at uh, a console, or looking at the NES within its original lifetime, the last game is either Wario's Woods or The Lion King on NES. Uh, did Lion La King... Last game's licensed by Nintendo. Good way to put it, yes. Uh, did Lion King release at a different time relative to Wario's Woods, depending on the region or something? How does that work? Yes, I believe that's the case. I believe, um... Wario's Woods uh, came out first in Japan, then The Lion King uh, came out in Europe, which was the only territory it was released on NES, um, and then Wario's Woods was released internationally uh, after that. I think that's how it works. Uh, but it, it, It's weird to... 
it's just very strange to think of an NES game coming out two years before the N64. But oh man, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else would '94 have been? So '90, so a '94 release would be uh, that would put that after Doom came out. Um, yeah. Depending on when in '94, that would even be after Doom uh, Two. Though I don't know that that's the case. Um, uh huh. After Mist. After Mist. Um, after Mortal Kombat. 94 was yeah. Earthbound in Super Metroid, I believe. Uh, I wonder what it would be like to be one of the devs on Lion King for the NES in 94. <laughs> what was the mood in that studio? Probably thank God we're not making a Street Fighter clone. <laughs> yeah, let's make an NES game at this point. <laughs> <laughs> they were probably they probably made the other versions first and then they got ordered to do it on multi-platform by the executives yeah probably but... all right but let's give this a go <laughs> wario's woods featuring wario actually in yellow also Toad and Birdo. Yeah, uh, one of the first games where Toad is the main character. Like, he can be the main character in Mario 2, but this is the first game where he's explicitly the main character. Man, I guess I'm still used to thinking of uh, this being Toad's only game. Uh, that's not true yeah. anymore, huh? Yeah. Um... This game kind of has weird logic because the fact that you're moving a character inside of a puzzle game um, means that it's very difficult to sort of position yourself so that you can move things in the right way. But I, I have seen some people that are really good at this game, so you can get good at it, it's just... Puzzle games already have a high learning curve, and this is probably one of the worst offenders. Huh. Also, I did not realize there was voice acting in this. That's freaky. Yeah. Toad has been ruined for me because someone compared his voice to the weekly tornado siren testing in the Midwest, even though I still love him. <laughs> <laughs> Does Toad move tile to tile, or is it incremental? Uh, it's tile it's to tile. It's tile to tile, yeah. So that does make it better, but it's still kind of weird. And, and you can see, like, climbs up the sides of walls, which is means it's very easy to get trapped underneath, and you can, like, oh, lift, everything, lift everything above you and then, like, plant it down below you in sort of like a Mario 2 sort of way. But it's... It's weird to get that kind of movement into your head, I think. It's... So, from these uh, demos, I'm seeing that the gems uh, can be screen clears, which is cool. Um, <laughs> also, as G comments, so this ought to be interesting for LB then. Uh, colors seem to be okay for me. I think I can tell the difference between what we're working with. It helps that the yellow is different from the green one. Yes in the shape. Alright, so we've got versus com versus 2P, round game, time race, lesson, and option. Let's look at option real quick. Uh, duh, duh. SK puzzle, puzzle Dungeon, or Shovel Knight Puzzle Dungeon, I think. It's from a top-down perspective, so it doesn't have the issue with weird wall climbing. Also being character in a puzzle game. Yeah. Is that, Is that Tatanga on versus Kong? Actually, I don't know. Is it? No, I don't think so. Kind of looks like him, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely think you can do... Um, character in a puzzle game, but to do it in, like, the Tetris style of falling blocks is kind of complicated. Alright. Let's go ahead and try out uh, Versus Com here. 
which level would you like to play? Easy, normal, or hard? We'll start from the top with not the Tonga. I'm your first opponent! Okay, so this is different from from the of the from the NES game because in this you have to clear them faster than your opponent. In the NES game, it's more like you just have to clear the screen um, and not die. game feels very Kirby for some reason. I can see it. I have played I have played both versions, but it's been a long time since I played the SNES version, so I don't remember all this. So you can push up, I think, and that'll make it you move to the top of the stack you're carrying. Oh, okay. Is the battle music a remix of Wario's theme in Mario Land 2? Yowza! Katsini uh, is his name. Yowza! You're still a beginner, but don't give up! Oh, nice. Oh, I see. Okay. Starting to get. Uh, so I think moving to the stack is generally what you want to do. It's easier than trying to change directions and whatnot. There we go. Down here, down here, down here. Come on. There we go. Wait. Oh, Toad's voice. That's weird. Toad's very first voice, I think. I'm not going to talk a lot, probably just here to ask a question. But what's your question? Long before the days of- Okay! Uh, it's best three out of five. Since Kirby got a new game announced, are you going to play it on stream? It looks perfect for that kind of thing. Yes, we are. We are going to continue Kirby, the Kirby Wednesdays, when we are able to. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should... Um... There we go. Oh, it's possible to speed up the falling things. How do I... There we go. Sweet. Okay, that's very useful to know. That must be what he's doing. There we go. Might be able to turn this around yet.
Let's see right there you should have moved to the top of the stack. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Okay. Yowza! Just think of moving to the top of the stack as putting hey, the bomb. Just think, yeah, thank you. Just think of it as putting the bomb where you're standing. Damn. I might need to do less than just since I don't really know what I'm doing here. See, there's no way out of that except to move to the top of the stack. Yeah, okay. Wait, is that a Yoshi egg? Apparently. No, oh, damn it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm tell, telling you, this game has some really weird Yowza! logic that's hard to get your mind around. How do I Sorry. escape from this hell? <laughs> it's not just you. Wait, no. Damn it. Why does he keep saying breakfast? Why would why 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 have why have any of these things happened? I think he's sending over to you somehow. Stop giving me breakfast! <laughs> he hungers. things are right. How do I... Ah, damn it. Release me yeah, from this but... hell! If I just stare at him for long <laughs> enough, we'll be okay. Um, you could just reset the game. I mean, yes. Damn it. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Let's do what we're supposed to do and start with lesson. Oh boy. Okay. Using the A button. By pressing the A button, Toad is able to pick up a stack of monsters and bombs. Also, if Toad is carrying a stack, press the A button to put the stack down. A button. Okay, I do like that they're slowly introducing the ideas to you, or, or they start to pull the brakes on explaining everything. So, if I press the A button, that does that, so then I want to press A, drop, Press A. Here. Pick that up. Drop. Up. Okay. Then pick up stack and put it there. Okay. One step left. 
atas eh. Oke okay. So then If I do that That does that And there we go I don't think I want to play this game. Yeah, it's pretty complicated. Ooh. Oh, thank you, gem. I don't think I can do anything with this gem yet. I was about to dump on this for being a oh, text box tutorial, but yeah, they're doing a nice job of easing up on explicit instruction in favor of letting you figure out how you're supposed to use the given button mechanic. I, th I do think that they're doing the best they can given the really weird mechanic they're, they're working with, but man, it's just such a hard mechanic to get your brain around. Okay, press A, walk right, press A to place the stack on the top. Climb the stack on the right. Press A at the red monster. Oh! Okay. That's how that works. No. Yeah, you can only do so much to teach without being explicit with mechanics like this. Fair. Using the B button. By pressing the B button, you can pick up a single bomb or monster. Also, if Toad is carrying a stack, pressing the B button will drop one monster or bomb that is directly above Toad. Press B. Up is what I do there. Okay. Tool. Press the B button. B button three times. One, two, three. Okay. I'm picking up what you're throwing down here. Oh okay, god, there's different ways to pick things up. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 Alright, press B to take the red bomb. Turn. Press B again. Okay. Climb up, press B when at the red bomb. Cool! Cool! Thanks, thanks, Freaky Toad. Press the B button. Interesting to note that if I'm in front of a tall stack, uh, pressing A will drop the thing on top of the stack, whereas pressing B will do nothing. Press the button. Climb up, press B when at the red bomb. Fall, turn and press B. Uh, dinner is ready, so I will be back later. Alright, well, I'm going to... Study up. I'm gonna try using the X button. By pressing X, Toad can escape to the top, top of the stack that he is carrying above him. That's how you do it. Okay. X. Good. So you do have a get the hell out of there button. X. Press X. X. Cool! X. Cool. Aha. Okay. Move one step right. Press X. Cool. Press A to pick up the stack, and then press X to drop the stack. am I blowing up, by the way? Probably should have asked that earlier. Press A, and press X. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Press A, then press X. Cool. cool. I think I said that at the same time. Climb up, 
Press A when at the red bomb, fall, then press X. A. X. Hmm. Why are you tricking it to genocide? Well, that's what I'm worrying about! I brought up Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon earlier. Interesting to see that game is mostly just walking up against things to interact with them. Well, this has unique uses for each face button. Yeah, it's complicated. Um, uh, but, okay. Alright, using the Y button. By pressing the Y button, Toad will kick a single bomb or monster in the direction he is facing. Toad cannot kick two or more bombs and monsters. Toad can also kick by holding down on the control pad and pressing A or B. Press Y twice. Kick. Kick. I mean, the Bomberman kick's always fun. Press Y. One, two, three. Oh, and you, it buffers kicks, too, so that's good to know. Press Y twice. Kick the bomb. Kick the man. Press Y. One, two, three, four. Maybe, I, maybe it doesn't buffer? Yeah. Press the Y button. Oh, interesting. So it'll catch it, uh, so as soon as they line up, it'll explode. Cool! Anyway. Press Y four times. One, two, three. Wait, wait a sec. Okay, fine, press the button. Fine. Kick. Drop the kick. Okay. Try this one again. One. Two. Three. Four. Maybe don't rush it. Okay. Press Y twice. Y. Twice. And then... Top of the stack. There we go. Five times. Line those up. Line those up. Line those up. Those and those. Hey, hey, kick. All right. How to make a diamond appear? A diamond will appear if you clear a row of five or more monsters and bombs. Make a match with a diamond, and all the same colored monsters will disappear. Press a button. What is that? Press A to lift the green bomb. Turn. Press A again. And make a diamond, and that murders everyone. Move one step forward. Boy, that's an ominous way to put it. So here I would pick B, and then drop a book. Jump down to the right. Cool. That's kind of fun. Not mm, something didn't work though. All right, jump down to the right. So, is there RNG to the tutorial? Yeah, no, the tutorial has RNG. Huh. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um. Interesting. So, I don't really know if it's possible to clear that one fully. Climb up, press B1 at the red bottom. Okay, so that's a gem. <laughs> you go over there. Nope. You go there. You go there. 
Okay. Out of here. Climb up, press B when at the red bomb. No. Press A to pick up the monsters. Turn. Press up again. One useful thing seems to be that the gems, uh, diamonds, work in the ep uh, as replacements for bombs, so that's good to know. That gem wound up being entirely irrelevant. Indeed, but the game at least showed me that the gem could exist in such a context. You're killing me. Figure this out. There we go. Got there. Oh, look, no one's impressed. Press the X button. Okay. How to form chain reactions. Chains and polymers. Uh, if Toad triggers a series of two or more matches by dropping a bomb, bomb time will be extended. What is bomb time? Cool! Jump down to the right. Cool! Cool! Press a button. Cool! Press a button. Cool! Okay. Move a step. Okay. Cool! This is not very informative. Yeah, it doesn't exactly show the context in which you would want to use the chains and polymers. Cool! Cool! Well, nuts to this, I'm just gonna climb up here. Oh, Thwomp, relieve me from this agony. Oh, this'll be fun. Okay. Press a button. Okay. So I do note that uh, while stuff is exploding, presumably that halts the fall of the thwomp up top, but Toad can still run around. So that's that's how that works. Spider Toad. <laughs> I don't know why that never came up in Mercs, that Toad could just stone cold climb up crab if he wanted. I don't know that it's that cool. I think that's also supposed to be Toad saying that, so just stick it- imagine, if you will, the visual of a mushroom man repeatedly ramming himself into a spike bed and saying, COOL! 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 while the world below him detonates. SG's got the right of it. Others. Miscellaneous techniques. <laughs> that is peak toad energy, to be frank. <laughs> Alright, by using the A, B, X, and Y buttons, Toad can perform some special techniques. Like... Press A to pick up the red bomb. Turn. Walk left. Cool! 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 Okay. Go there. Go there. Cool! 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 Are you getting schooled? I... I'm... I'm learning over here. This is kind of a weird, uh... uh Everything. What special technique is this even teaching? I, I guess that's teaching the fact that you can 
blow stuff up by uh, walking. What is this miscellaneous about this? You're just applying the mechanics. Okay, press A to pick up the white bomb. Turn, walk one step, press A. Wow. Really, really I'm pretty sure think I'm, about it. I'm pretty sure X and, a X and up are the same in this game. Uh, they are not. Oh, they're not? I'm, I've been making that mistake this whole time. Alright, jump down to the right. Alright, alright, watch, this is gonna be... Oh, it's gonna be something, alright. Press A to pick up the stack. Walk right. What was that blinky thing he was doing? Press A to pick up Pink Monster. He has a name, you know. I couldn't tell you what it was, but... <laughs> oh, that was cool. It, it, oh. it would be nice if it was... <clears throat> if it said to pick up the pink monster, but whatever. <laughs> also, we determined that uh, the tutorial has RNG. Huh. <laughs> That's odd. Yeah. Yes, quite. Press B. Turn. Press B again. Climb and press B at the red bump. Cool! I can just hold the kick. Seems so extend aggressive. leg to <laughs> extend leg to assert dominance. Alright, last one. Press A to pick up. Move one. Step to the right. Press A again. Also you can press Y to kick. Well. Let's do that. Why? 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 White. Yeet. Okay. Alright. Alright. I think... I think I've all learned. You're so, learned. Let's see if this helps at all. I'm your first opponent. Let's see what you got. I guess I have to let him actually talk. Okay, so I pick that up, pick that up, pick this up again. I've learned nothing. We're in trouble. He's T-posing his way to intimidation. Now you can make gems appear when you kill five or more monsters at once, which can be used to kill all monsters of different color, but the color and location of the gem are randomized. Yeah, that, that was... It was weird. It was like, okay. None of these are the solution. I don't think you've learned much. I was hoping I had. Okay. Got one! Good. Wait, that God bless it! Yowza! Almost. Yowza! Still begin it, but don't give up. <laughs> I still like Pistol's Toad. If you practice, you'll get better. He sounds like Danny DeVito. <laughs> um, crap. Crap, 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 crap.
There we go. Wait. You did it. I did it. Bad life choice. God bless it! So I don't think it's worth it if you can't get all of them to blow up at once. Probably Yay. not. Um, hello. Yowza! Okay. I keep doing that. Okay, no, that, that one's okay. <laughs> I think he was so awesome that he made a chain of enemies come and attack you. I guess? Stack and ah. What if I want to dig? Ah, God bless it. No. So I'm noticing that everything he does is purposeful, and he doesn't necessarily do it that quickly, but he doesn't make any mistakes at all. So. Damn it. Oh, shit. Color messed up. That's the trick there. Wait. I can pause it. Okay, so we're gonna cheese this for a little bit. Um, <laughs> so... I imagine it's easier to make the CPU just move slower rather than making it make mistakes. <laughs> yeah, but the fact it makes every minor mistake you do super impactful. Come on! That's two. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to want to move uh, purple on top of the stack. Okay. Why the hell would you do that? Whoa. Get over yourself. So I think when that happens, you need to li lift up that whole stack of blues and then get to the top of them and plant them on the bomb you were standing on. Okay, sure. Why would you go over there? There! Okay. Okay. Got there. You yeah. beat the first opponent. Way to go. Jeez Louise, no kidding. You know, it might have been nice if the game explained how there can just suddenly be a giant tower. Yeah, surprising that that doesn't show up in the uh, tutorial. Well, I think that that's a unique thing to the multiplayer battle mode, and it was just teaching you how to do single player. I'm still, I'm still in training. training. Are you? Oh. Are you in training too? Go easy on me, okay? Okay. So. See what bomb you're gonna get. Okay. Hmm. So you wanna do the diagonal. 
Oh, you're right. Gosh, I'm just cheesing this so much. Okay. Um, I can move top blue onto the other blue and then start stacking the bunnies. What? How did that work? I was close, but you got it. Okay, this one seems like it'll just be stacks, so... Okay, so then this one I can hold up there. And I want to put it up here, lay that down. This one. Okay, and then why the hell would you put it over there? You should have uh, grabbed go. the bomb up. You should have grabbed the bomb out of midair while it was falling there. Ah, true. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. First one's red, so this is going to be another one with diagonals. So, okay, okay. That's my in row. Uh, and I actually want to lay this one there because then this I can do some decent shooting with that. Then, if I do this, wait. Move there we the, go. Okay. You could have also moved up the tower and pressed B at the blue one, remember. Right, okay. Yeah. Galrog. It, it, it seems that pausing constantly is the way to beat this game. I feel dirty, though. It doesn't work for the NES version, from what I remember, but... What? Are you ready to challenge me? Here's a secret. I hate to lose! <laughs> like Toad's enthusiasm. You like it losing? Well, guess what? I'm gonna fuck your shit up, motherfucker! <laughs> okay, that one, that bomb's green, right? Yes. Okay, so what would the play there be? <laughs> Freaking Proto Dementio over there. I would fall to the right carrying it get oh that, good call those three. okay so that one then I the can the blue diagonal yeah okay uh crap Yoshi egg I think that's gonna be a tack a uh, stack of dudes oh no that's just eh dude Do it in that order, darn fairy. Well, why are you dropping dudes? Oh, it's a pigeon now. Pigeon keeps showing up in these. Yeah, in these random ass Mario spinoffs. <laughs> okay, green, so. Uh, what would be best there? Probably. Pro probably the left tag. Uh, I mean, the. Top left to bottom right diagonal. Okay. Oh wait, I can snag it out of midair. So, or kick it. Okay, so then this one... Wait. Got it. Hold that there. Okay, I would 
there. This over there. That does nothing for me. Wait, no. Gah! Damn it! Yeah, that was weird. Okay. So, red bomb. I can use that. And the diagonal. Yeah, okay. Okay, so then I would... Okay, so that... There. Straightforward enough. That one, I can... Hmm. Just move out of the way and I'll fall in there. What if I grabbed the blue dude in the top right as well? Then I could do a little bit of trickery. Uh, it's a little complicated. Not really. Yeah, we'll just leave it. Okay, so... So green... Ne no. Oh, the bombs dropped are randomized, too. That's interesting. Okay, so that one I intercept with the blue dude in the top right, then. So, okay. So then greeny here. Mmm. Just drop it down. Yeah, okay. Cool! Oh, God. Cool! Lovely to have that work out in my favor. And it's going to just... Yeah, you gotta match those vertically. Why would you do this game? Why? What? Okay. Hello. What? What did he say? Hello! Oh, oh, okay. Alright. White bomb there, so then... Probably I can move pinky and then uh, put the drop there. No, no. Uh-uh. Don't, don't move pinky. Hit the diagonal. Okay. Wrong diagonal. This one, if I drop there, like that. Didn't mean that, but okay. That one I'm just not even going to worry about. Okay. Okay. So green there, I'm probably going to want to hit that diagonal. Okay. That's your only choice. Red, another diagonal. You always want to aim for diagonals if you can, because they're kind of like fragile, and um, they might not be diagonal for long. I don't think I wanted to hit that diagonal. Oh well. Okay, so this one, I just hit another diagonal. Yes. Okay. Right there, up there. Okay. Wait, crap. Nope, don't. Hello. What? No! What? Why? Ah! We got a gem. Winner. Harley, Harley Quinn? Uh, this was the early years. <laughs> Hi, I won. Did your first impression of me change? Let's go at it again. I'm only now noticing the ominous Wario emblem carved into the grass here. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice that either. I guess that's why they call it Wario's Woods. Okay, I can hit the four 
four by four one there. Really makes you think. The real Wario's woods were the woods we Warioed along the woods. Okay, so yellows, I, if I stack the yellows in a tower, then I can get a gem, and that would be awesome. Yeah. Gem. Okay. Why? God bless it. Yes, do that. Oh, I can also just murder her. And that's also an option. I don't know. Harley is a pretty unisex name, I think. Yeah, okay, whatever. All right, so diagonal there. Yellow, not a lot of great places up top. Uh, uh, can... put, no, put the yellow one directly to the right of you, and then you can make a diagonal. Oh, yeah, okay. Or, mm. I, I meant the yellow creature, but that works. Oh. That's okay, too. You okay. Can, now you can get this diagonal. Wait, no. Um. Cool. Okay. Apparently, that was pretty cool. We get take the diagonal. This? Uh, uh, no, wait, no, damn it. Uh, You're front. Oh. Hello. Damn, oh. Uh, yeah, okay, give me that. Look at, there you go. Wait, that's green. Why would you be green? <laughs> it's green. God bless it. <laughs> okay. Green diagonal. I see it. And then red can be one diagonal. Um, um. Or okay, sure. I need red! Give me red! Give me red! None of these are red! Well, be red over here, damn it! Whoa. Whoa. What? What? Why? Why? Wait, no, god! God damn it! <sighs> okay. That's green, right? Yes. Okay. So move the blue one and put the green right there where the blue one was. Okay. Um, that should automatically blow them up, so that should be fine. Yeah, don't worry about that. No, it didn't. Why? Oh, it, okay. Why? Uh, it, it's still fine. You can grab those two. To, oh. Or do that. Yeah, that works too. Kick, punt. Nope. Wait. Slow punt. Um. Wait. There. Okay. Why? Why do any of you exist? <laughs> oh, it's the damn pigeon. Yeah, I don't know. Winner. So, apparently, the when they're falling on their own, they can't blow up things on their own, which is kind of dumb. I don't see why that they made that a mechanic. So if I do that, then I do that, and that. That gives me a gem. Um. Okay, sure. Why, why not? Okay, 
Jesus Christ, this game looks stressful as hell. <laughs> it's not an easy game, that's for sure. Um, okay, diagonal, I'm thinking? I would think so, too. Yeah, so just don't move it at all. Okay. Uh, that one there... I'm gonna have to do some moving here. Um, uh, move the move the red one and then put the bomb where the red one was. Sounds good. Sure. Looks stressful for someone who isn't colorblind, let alone someone who is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I am starting to understand why. Um, Wait, why, why, why? I do not... I do not approve of any of these actions. Half these twits look exactly the same. <laughs> okay, that's green. So... Yes. This one I'm going to want to quickly create a stack. Uh... That's an option, yeah. Let's try that. Damn, would you put it there? Okay, sure. Whatever. Wait, no! Ah! Poop! Okay. Okay. None of these... Okay. So red, so that one I just let drop. I didn't mean to drop. Okay. No, no. Why? God. Okay. Okay. That's just cool. let that drop. Why, why, why would you do any of this? <gasps> what a sadistic game! <laughs> Winner. It's definitely entertaining to watch, though this shit's just completely insane. <laughs> diagonal here. Um, yes. If I'm there to intercept it, it'll just be a natural diagonal. Um, Alternatively, if I move quickly enough, I could turn that into a five score, which would be a diamond. You could. Let's try that. Why would you be that diamond? Come on. Wait, I didn't want to do that. Okay, 
Oh, that's okay. You can make this work. Whoa! Well, why would... Why do you exist? Freaking who hurt you, Harley Q? Okay, um... <laughs> Alright, um... So you can see why we're not finishing this game. <laughs> Jeez Louise, no friggin' kid. Okay, so I do that, I do that, that's a that. Cool. That's cool. Okay, good. This is gonna antagonize the brat. No, damn it. Kick! Thank you? Wait, no, no, wait, no, damn it! No! I mean, okay, sure. <laughs> Is that pink or blue? Pink. Okay, so that's pink. Not a lot of ideal spots for that. Um... Uh, you might just want to put it in that well and see if you can get the other two guys in there. <laughs> okay. And then you I can drop. Cool. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, damn. Hello. That's pink. No, that's yellow. No, um, right. No, that's not. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. So as long as I'm just in the way to intercept them, that's cool too. Yeah, you have to be carrying it. I, I didn't know what was going on there. <laughs> All right, that was a hard one. White, so diagonal for sure. Yep. Move the yellow ones and get that long strip. Okay. Why? 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 You're good. Okay. That is green. So. Yes. Oh, right. This arrangement. If I'm yeah, quick, I yeah, do the five again. Help, but viable. You can do it there. Oh, bless it. You're fine. Just need one more red. There's a red. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Poochie, mama. Okay. At least we'd be easy mode. Knowledge of the basic techniques is necessary to win. Right here, right now, how good are you? I think we're on medium now, officially. Yeah, we are. Okay, so I can't hit diagonal just yet. <laughs> Mr. P. Umpkin, kinda. Uh, I would... Uh... Oh, come on. 
Uh, that one I'll have drop in the well. Uh, no, you can. Oh, if get the diagonal if you're quick. Like press B. Oh, I see. Move, move to the left. Press B. Uh, put it to the left, and then lift up that green one, and then yeah, yeah, like that. So then this. This one I have to hide in the well. Okay. would take it as a great big personal favor if you did not turn into a pigeon. It already did. I know. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right. At least we're pretty cool. Whoa. No longer do I feel cool. Hello. Hello. Is that Toad saying hello? Or do the, just do all the enemies have the same voice? Maybe that's. It. I think the enemies have the same voice. Ah, whatever. Okay. Um, I move yellow to create a space there. Yep. Okay. Blue or whatever. Um. Hit the diagonal. Right. Yes, it's blue. Red. Stop saying breakfast! <laughs> no, none of you are right! <laughs> yeah! Flash got at the wrong things here! Something's cool. Good. Good. <laughs> Intended. Got there! Woo! <laughs> Actually, yeah, you can move the blue one and then get the diagonal. Oh. Um. Yeah, okay. Wait, no, damn it, damn it! Run up the left and yank that, yeah. Cool. I'll take that. I won't take Hello. that. Hello. Goodbye. Go away. Yeah. Dang it, 
that was a death spiral. Diagonal. Uh, Move the red one and then those two. Okay. Um, Get the diagonal by moving the red one. Which red one? You're going to have to uh, uh, climb up the left wall and press B. You put them over there. Yay. God bless it. Can't count that blue one. Um, which blue? The, that one. Um. When I say yank out, I mean just push B, not A, to lift the whole stack. Right. Oh, right. Wait, no, you're not the same- none of you are the same color! <laughs> you go there. Uh, I don't think this is the one. Cool! Well, we're at oh, least maybe. cool. I like cool. No, 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 no this isn't it. Not hello! Goodbye! <laughs> don't know why you say hello, I say goodbye! Kind of saving it, but yeah, he was near yeah, the end the whole time. Damn you, Sam Spook. Does he have the body of Wario? Yeah, he totally does. I don't think this is Wario, but... Yeah. Are you sure you're ready for this level of play? Not at all! If you would like to try and beat... Me. You're on! So that guy's gonna fall there. Just put it to the right, all the way to the right. Screw you. <laughs> uh, none of these are good colors. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. Get the five. No, you go over there. No one likes you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. That's something. I don't get why, but... Okay. No, God! Piss off, you bomb! <laughs> Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. <laughs> Piss off! these wimp-ass sucky bombs, friggin' jeez louise. Okay. Okay. No, wait. I have to wet Hello. these two in holy matrimony. No! Not like that! <laughs> okay. God, piss off! <laughs> this, this game is 
speed! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't deserve that. Totally deserve that. <laughs> I did not deserve that. <laughs> SG points out the thing about giving your opponent tower is that if they can get rid of it, they get an easy diamond. True. Move that yellow and get those three. Diagonal. Yeah, diagonal. Uh, I'm um, gonna have to move greeny. Yes. Okay. How the hell am I gonna do this? Whoa! No, no, no. Oh, oh, okay, okay, sure. If that's the game you wanna play, I will not object. I did not think it was that color. It worked out. Yeah, no, not looking this gift horse in a mouth. <laughs> You might say uh, the phrase yeah, is no. look the gift horse in the mouth, but I say nope. I specifically mean a mouth. Oh. Damn you, Pidget. Well, no, you're good. Okay. Pidget actually was helpful that time. I rescind my cuss. <laughs> That's pink? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh boy. Okay, okay. So pink... I can't really do anything with that, so... I, I just stack it on top of that other pink one. Okay, so I'll step out of the way. Oof. Okay. So... Just let that one drop, too, I think. I can create a diagonal if I move quickly. How? Like oh, that. like that, yeah. Okay. Smart one. That's light blue, so I'm going to want um... to... Create a diagonal. Put, yeah, put that bomb directly to the right of you, and then lift up that blue guy and fall down with him to the left. Okay. Okay, red, I can diagonal. make a diagonal. And then that next one is... Light blue. Light blue, okay. So that one's not going to be of any help to me. The... Um, it will, it will, it will soon because you can lift up that light blue and put it uh, underneath where you're standing right now, and then that next blue will make a diagonal. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Wait, no, not, not there. Why? God. Friggin' Dumb, 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 dumb. That, that worked. Wait. Ah, why couldn't you be a cool gem? Go down. Yeah. Oh. No, damn you. Yes. There you go. Whew. Somehow managed to eke out a perfect. Jeez, Louise. It's, it's not. It's not impossible if you pause constantly, but without doing that, it's pretty ridiculous. No kidding. Okay, okay. Yeah. The ah, so you haven't made it to this ladder. You think you seem to think you can beat me, Thor. Don't give up, even if it seems hopeless. I appreciate that these are you gonna punch me? Uh, I appreciate that these enemies are all very encouraging, despite everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, Diagonal. Yes, okay. 
You know, Birdo is way less relevant in this version of the game. Uh, I think it depends on the mode. Like, I think that that's the single player mode where she's relevant. Maybe. Okay. Um. I'm so thinking I move red and then put. Yes. Uh, yes. Get that diagonal. Wait, what? Which diagonal? The pink. Oh! Get that bomb. Good call. So. Diagonal, um, I see. Yeah. Okay, then I can start clearing out some of the yellows there. Um, move the blue one. Blue bomb, yeah, okay. A little bit of a waste, but that's okay. God damn it! There we go. Okay, so then... Move the green one. Oh yeah, okay. Easy. Green, I'll intercept... I can create a diagonal. No, yeah. yeah there we go. Okay, and blue there. Blue, unfortunately, doesn't do a whole lot for me yet. Well, I could make a diagonal. Let's... Yeah. Try you can make the start of a diagonal. Oh, yellow. That's a layup. Uh, why? Uh, I see. Seriously? Uh, actually, move the yellow. And, um, and, and then group A. Wait. Okay. Push A. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. Friggin' finally. Okay. Douchebag! It's okay. <laughs> Wait. You go there. And then you go there. The, nope. There. Come on, be a nice fairy. What? <laughs> oh, come on! God <laughs> bless it! Okay, um... So, not much I can do with pink here. Okay, that's okay. Of course, that one is super useful. What? What are you doing?
What? Oh, come off that. Drop there, and that's okay. that up too. Ah! Oh, you know what? I thought this music was reminding me of Kirby on Reflection. I'm actually wondering if this was on Lemmy's Land. I don't recognize it myself, but... It very well could have been somewhere. Okay, so I'll just create a quick... There. I could have been cute, but that's okay. Carry that blue one. Oh, and the drop. Oh, yeah. That, that works too. Okay, this will be quick. Cool. Okay, but, um, wait, no, but then how. And then, if this, a certain fairy would just start dropping decent ass bombs, we might actually be able to get somewhere. God bless it! Oh, look at me, I'm gonna freaking drop all the wrong bombs! There we go. Okay. Okay! Wow, that was close. That's uh, pink? Yeah, so. Okay. I, I would drop down. Grab the red one, place it on the pink one, then move to the right, grab the yellow one, and get rid of it so that you can put the pink bomb down that well. I see. Okay. Yellow there. Um... That's a fine spot for it, I think. Okay, and then this guy... Okay. Lift up the yellow one and put it on that bomb that's coming down. Actually, I have a separate thought. I could uh, I could create a diagonal with reds here. I'm going to try that. Oh, also I'm going oh, yeah. to get yeah. Good uh, idea. my button. Good idea. Here. There we go. Okay, so red there. L l no, lift up the blue one and drop him down where you're standing. Oh, I see. Okay. Yellow from a black. Cool. That's cool. And confirmation of cool. So, okay. I, I, I'd lift the yellow. Yeah. Hello! Ah. It sounds like something I would say, too. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, that's pissing me off. <laughs> Like, they're appropriate in my, uh, 
vernacular. Ow. Fuck. Ow. Gem, 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 gem. <laughs> Hello! God. Dang. Damn it. Okay. Okay, give me yellow. Good, good, good. I like yellow. Yellow's good. No, why? But pigeons! Wait, no, we might be okay. No, don't create anything. Yes! <laughs> Saved by the bell. Yeah! Sven. Sven. Came down to sudden death on that one. No kidding. Jeez Louise. Skillful use of the A and B buttons is a key point. I'll demonstrate their use by defeating you. <laughs> I don't think that tail was very birdie. Just yeah. drop down in the well and carry that. Yeah. Oh, you're useless. <laughs> yeah. Uh... There. No one likes you. Get either diagonal it's if you yeah it's gonna get the right one Whoa. Take the double. okay you don't have to give me that bomb I won't judge you I wouldn't think any less of you if you start giving me decent bombs. <laughs> no one has to know. Quit being a bad influence on the fairy, LB. It. That was the cool one! You can do it now. Uh, the, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Um, damn. You pushed A instead of B. Skillful use of the dumbass button is smellier than the sword. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> uh. Damn you! Damn you! <laughs> okay. Cool. No, you're thinking about it, but don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, fall with that pink one. The the pit. I see. Well, why would you go there? God. Cool. Hello. Whoa. Just friggin' let me. Okay, cool. that's something. 
Drop one closer. Over here. No, no, no. Move, move the whole Wait. stack by pushing A. It's too big. Breakfast. Not breakfast. <laughs> I hate breakfast. Whoa. Just freaking <laughs> have mercy on me already. Jeez, Louise. Okay, thank you. There's mercy. No, wait, no. Yeah. Okay. And then... No, but the friggin... Ah. <sighs> Somehow you did that. <laughs> I did not deserve that. <laughs> the game did as asked, I guess. Oh, this is useless. M move that yellow one. Oh. Fall with that pink one into the well. Okay. Or do that. Yellow. Yellow is nice. Yellow is a nice color. I like yellow. Reds. I remember this one time there was a red and I dropped it in the well. <laughs> shall tolerate this idiocy because it seems to be getting us results. Breakfast. Would it kill you to not be bunnies? <laughs> this makes some very interesting clips out of context. <laughs> no fucking kidding. There! Is it weird that I feel like I'm starting to pick up on the nuances to this game, even you, though you do you do get a hang of it eventually? But it is a very weird kind of Hello. mindset to get into. It remains just pure batshit insanity, but um, like there's some bizarro logic to it. Uh huh. Also, I think when it spawns breakfast, i.e. a Yoshi egg, you want to grab and place it yourself. From what I've seen, I think it spawns a whole row of enemies otherwise. Oh man. Okay, so if you clear the Yoshi egg quickly, it won't spawn that row of enemies. Good to know. Okay. Um, drop that pink enemy and the bomb into the well on the right. Just get rid of them. Okay. 
That Drop one. the blue guy into the well on the left. <laughs> okay. Boy, we keep doing this. Um. No, I, I got you're this. You're probably. One. Okay. So, oh, or the game will be very generous for no apparent reason. White's there, so. I see. So then, jump up with these. Jekyll, Jekyll, hide, Jekyll, hide, hide, Jekyll. Jekyll, Jekyll, hide, Jekyll, hide. Whoa! Oh boy. That's fine. Um, get rid of that yellow and that white one from the stack, and it'll clear all those for you. You're right. By pressing B. Ah. Could have been a better job. Okay. Um. Gra grab the green one, and then climb up, and then fall down with them. Fall down which way? Oh. To the left. And get the diagonal. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh. Oh, I see. You might have to clock. Oh, wow. That was fast. Down into the Right. I, I would go down to the right well and see if you can lift up by pressing B and then so you can rearrange that better. No, no. Oh. I didn't mean that, but... Right. Wait. Okay, that's something. Now you can put that other yellow guy there. Okay. Fall with this. Or do that. Fall with that one. I would put those two yellows in the well. Or you get... Oh yeah, get this diagonal. You're right. I'll get this diagonal. Not the diagonal I was thinking, but that works too. Same color. Okay, um, grab the white and fall with it. The white bomb, I see. This one I can drop. Okay. Get the diagonal of greens. Oh yeah. Yank out the pink one. Ah, damn it! That's okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, yank out the blue one. Blue one is on my right? Yes, below the two bombs. Okay. Just push A. Or, okay. And now just put that to the oh damn ads. <laughs> if I leave this, this is fine. Jeez, okay. Um 
Okay, get on top of that blue one, and then gra quickly grab that green guy to the left, and I think that'll clear the green ones. Okay. No, not quite. Shit. Darn. Uh, um... I can pull the green bomb out here. It doesn't... I don't think that does anything for me, though. It, it can if you move on top of this. And then... Uh, grab the pink one, move on top of... But then you can't get that last bomb. Well, let's see. Whoa! Jeez Louise. Grab those blue ones. Grab those blue ones. Which... The ones under the paws? Which ones are blue? Oh, oh. The ones right beneath oh, I you. See. No, don't move that poop. Oh. Well, that's at least something. Um. I think I got it. Okay, yeah, they're finally. Okay. You sure you don't want to give me a little more game? Okay. Start yanking those green ones out. Why would you do any of this? There you go. Um, Just do that again. Okay, okay, okay. Not that. Hello! Not that. That's okay. That's fine. Wait, no. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! You're, you're okay. <laughs> you're useless. Lift that whole stack of grants. <laughs> oh, if I could just get this to play nice. What? Oh, come on! <laughs> Ah, jeez. Oh, <sighs> Yowza. Did you see my skill with the A and B buttons? If you didn't notice, I'll show you again! Behold! Is that using A and B buttons? One more try. Alright, I, th I think this will be our last run, because... Uh, okay. Uh, That's fair. This one I just want to drop into the well. Uh-huh.
I'll send the blue or that color down after it. Big breakfast. Fall to the right with that one. In the right well. Good eye. Just put that on top of that other blue one. that pink one. That pink bomb. Oh, good guy. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, get rid of that red one and then grab the white bomb and fall to the left. I see. The white diagonal. Good call. Uh, okay, so then drop the yellow here. Yank out that yellow one. to the left. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. I was lost track of him. Yeah, me too. He didn't even do that bad. It just... He was he real better. efficient. Okay. that. 
Okay, okay. Um. I can make this. Diagonal. Another diagonal. Uh, that is useless as a guy whose name is useless. Pretty useless. <laughs> no, it's just true form, let's be honest. Uh, as useless as Eustace Bag. <laughs> Oh, come on! Stop friggin' tricking me! Breakfast does something pretty intense in any case. It's just a question of uh, how intense. Cool! I like cool. No! Oh, wait, it's okay! That's good, that's wait. good. Oh, you get it. You either get one enemy or one plus a row of enemies. Uh, move the pink one. Pausing doesn't help if you don't figure out what you're gonna do. <laughs> no, true. Yellow. Wait, actually, we can work with that. Um, okay, so I put that there. Put that there. Put that. Drop that. breakfast. Okay. You gave him breakfast for once. Good. Dude could friggin' stand to eat something. Good save. Thank you, me. It's friggin' don't... You gotta lift it from the other side. Friggin' jeez louise. Gah. Okay, okay. There you go. Man. Wait. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, I almost had it. Ah. Yowza. Hoochie mama. Jeez Louise, this is tough. Uh-huh. All right, so... I'm going to at least make a save here. With... Okay. <laughs> Fucking Paratour. It, it's definitely a unique puzzle game. I, It's probably one of the most stressful games I've ever played, but... Um, I kind of appreciate that it exists it, that it exists because it's such a unique kind of puzzle game too. So, just really quick, I want to see what round game is. Is this? Oh shit! This is the campaign I should have been doing. And yeah, they're both kind of a campaign. Also, here's where Birdo is. Okay, so this this I know is the mode from. Uh, NES, yeah. Okay. Sweet. And this is almost pretty much identical to that game. I'll say it's now that I've been struggling through versus computer, it is weird playing this and having it be so lax. Trust me, once you get up to, like, level 60 or some shit, this gets unfair with how many enemies there are, because you just have no room to move. It starts you, like, at the top of the ceiling with the whole thing full of enemies. So you have, like, less than a second to figure out what your first move is, and then from there you need to be on point to destroy everything below you, too, so it gets ridiculous. Probably even harder, but it, it definitely starts easier because um, it's, it's so empty at first. Okay. Probably, uh, probably th this... All the same, it, this feels like a much more natural induction into this game's brand of insanity than, uh, <laughs> the, uh, yeah. than the versus. So, like... It, 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 gets, it gets really weird enemies, too. Like, there's some enemies that you can only destroy by attacking them diagonally. And there's Weird. some that, and there's some that you can only, some that you have to hit twice, and it does things like that. So. Oh, I took two. Oh long yeah, long and War and Wario comes, Wario comes to move the swamp down, I think, or no, he changes it to a fidget, I guess. That's what was going on this whole time. <laughs> I love that he has the shoulder barge, so this game respects Winner. Wario more than Super Smash Bros. Brawl does. <laughs> kind of a delayed response, but yeah, no, I guess so. And I'm pretty sure this mode doesn't have gems. So. There's a gem. Oh. M maybe it requires more of them, because you matched five earlier and it didn't. Oh, huh. Mario's moods win. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, just, uh... Oh, let's hit a diagonal cut. Yeah. This is gonna be great. <laughs> that was a cool guy thing. That is just Super Princess Peach, but with a different protagonist. <laughs> Not wrong. Winner. Mm -hmm. 
We're just gonna end up playing every Mario game that doesn't actually star Mario. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, I'm playing the NES game and I think I'm at like level 65 or something. It's like ridiculous at this point. I, can't, I don't know if I have the skill to beat it. It's... Honestly, I've kind of been going through the gamut of emotions uh, playing this, but... Uh, Winner. This is a really interesting game to me. It's um, mean in a way that a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Um, puzzle games really aren't. Um, oh, I don't know about that. I think being mean is pretty fundamental to the genre. Well, how do I want it? That's, that's fair. And I'm not much for puzzle games, so that's so that's going to be part of my uh, uh, bias. Um, uh -huh. But I, I agree in the sense that it's like You can boomerang it a lot easier than you can in a lot of puzzle games. Yes, that much is true. There we go. Sweet. Isn't the point of, say, Puzzle Fighter to just dump garbage on the other guy? Yep. Or, um competitive panel to pawn is all about that too. Also or, true. Or um, uh, Poyo Poyo it really gets into that and it gets so much into that that like it becomes a game of who can form the combo first and whoever does that wins until Poyo Poyo Sue which has the, um, the like kind of this game's version of boomeranging, where you can just send it all back after they send it to you. Can I get a one-up? Huh. So, well, I'm trying to think then. So what is it about this game that is uh, challenging me so much? Like, I don't think it's just the, the whole colorblindness. It, it's the um, positioning of Toad, because it's difficult to like a lot of times you just can't move with toad um and uh you have to be able to know like which side to lift from and it's not exactly intuitive uh, and it's difficult to put into words but i know exactly what kind of thing you're talking about because i feel the same thing when i play it All this being said, I res I kind of respect this game. Um, I, I do too. Yeah, it's a very unique game, and it's a very creative game. It's just... Man, is it stressful. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, but if I take long enough, Wario gets kicked out and Birdo comes back to help? Question mark? Uh, kind of neutral. She points to the timer that tells you when the Wario's coming back. So I guess that's help. Is it just shoutouts? She's just chilling. Birdo being in the game? <laughs> yeah. Come on. I think this is Birdo's second game. This would be, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Because back then, it wasn't expected that Birdo would show back again after Mario 2. There we go. Not counting 
All Stars, of course, but sure. Meh. Oh yeah, this would have been after All Stars, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a weird thought. Would All Stars have uh, made this game or put Birdo in the uh, developers' minds? It could have, especially since All Stars um, seems to pay more attention to Birdo than Mario 2 original does. Like in the fact that she's on the um, the screens, the bonus minigame screens and stuff. And I think she's on the game over screen too. Oh, she, you're right, she wasn't in the original, was she? Winner. Yeah, it was just a blank screen. And she was on the, in the, um, the group of characters on the title screen. Yeah, that's right. So, as far as uh, Wario games go, how does this how, how does this exactly fit into what a Wario game is? <laughs> it, I, I, uh, I know it's kind it, of a fool's errand, but it, it's a um, well, I do think that the random ass Mario puzzle spinoffs are a good fit for Wario, just in that like. Let's just have this asshole be here to do whatever flimsy ass plot we need him for. So in that sense, I think he, he works. And like he he still has the shoulder charge to hit the screen, so like points for that. And he has his plane, too. Also true. Ridley, his plane gets uh, a ton of play in games that aren't uh, mainline Wario games. <laughs> yeah. Because it shows up It shows up uh, here, it showed up in... Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, it showed up in um, uh, friggin' Mario and Wario. It, it will show up again in uh, Virtual Boy Wario Land. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think as a kid I always assumed the first game with it was uh, Wario Land 3, just because... Um, Why the hell else would he have uh, an airplane? Yeah. But apparently it's a pivotal part of his character. Yeah. <laughs> like, you cannot truly understand what it means to be Wario. Uh-huh. I, Wario, you, Wario, he, she, we, Wario, Warioed, Warrowing, Wariology, the study of Wario. It's first grade. Oh boy, this will be a... Maybe? Yeah, SG was spot on about uh, how the... Yoshi breakfast works. <laughs> okay, but why isn't Wario calling breakfast here? <laughs> oh man. Uh, I, I bet this wasn't originally Wario's Woods and they just needed these characters into their weird idea for a puzzle game. 
I mean, it's not like Wario makes a hell of a lot of sense in the context of this either, but... Yeah. Wario seems like the kind of guy who would turn all the truffle trees into the th needs. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. I like that. Winner. Looking through the list in both versions of the game, the NES version apparently has Toad face off of against a bunch of fantasy monsters. Like a golem, a mermaid, and a witch. <laughs> oh, and a lich. Not a witch. Freaking... Freaking paladin toad? Actually, that almost fits, come to think of it. Ah, damn it. Should've just let that drop. Cool. Cool. Yep, that is indeed a lich named Caesar. Ah, damn it. I sort of like, there's something about that concerned look to the side uh, that I appreciate from Bruno. <laughs> it's kind of an, oh crap, he's coming. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> that doesn't work, unfortunately. I know what you were trying to do there. Oh, come off it! Friggin' hell. Alright. Meanwhile, one of the bosses you didn't get to in the SNES version is basically just a River Zora named Razor. Yep. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I know that there's uh, one of the bosses is just a lizard named Lizardon who insists that he's going to be the main character of the next game, which uh, I, I kind of appreciate. Lesson, stop being the wrong color already. Damn it! There we go. One thing to keep in mind is that the only ones, if you can lift a whole stack up, the only ones that matter are the ones on the bottom. So, like, you can use that to get rid of things on the bottom. without having to move them all individually. Yeah, okay. Get the diagonal. There it is, thank you. Could not see it for some reason. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn. 
This game has a Jekyll and Hyde timer. I think that's what's going on. Alternatively, yeah, does, a uh, Castlevania 2 timer. <laughs> it has the Birdo time and the Wario time. Yep. Is it possible that Phyto is the translator's misunderstanding of what the Japanese Phyto means? Ha! Huh. Could be. Interesting. Also, I think it's like, this will be, yeah, it starts on number 20, and then I would assume the oh. next one would start on 40, and so on. Okay, we must have started on zero. Alright, that, that's enough. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> uh... kind of did final thoughts already but final thoughts it's it's an interesting very stressful game and uh i think it it's worth playing if you hate yourself and if you really <laughs> really want to learn how to get good at it but be prepared to put in a lot of work because it's not easy to understand or get good at the game because it's a lot to keep track of and sometimes it's frankly unfair especially in a lot of the later levels but um, I have seen people that get crazy good at it and swear by the game and when you do get the feeling of getting good at the game it, it is pretty fun and it's pretty unique and it it bends your mind in a way that no other game really does, but you just gotta... It, it fills a very, spe very specific mood, and I have to be in the right mood for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree, I'd, I'd agree with that. It's... I... I... There's probably a decent zen that you get into when you are good with this game, but um, as someone who is learning it, it's very much not approachable. Which I think, um, uh, and again, I'm not much for puzzle games, but the pu puzzle games that I like are ones that have a high skill ceiling, but also are have a low enough skill floor that you can intuit or step into what you're supposed to be doing with uh, uh yeah like like if you take Poyo Poyo for example like obviously getting chains is not something that a new player is going to be able to do but they are going to be able to intuit I have to match four colors together and doing like the single action of matching those four things together doesn't have 
hardly any skill seal, skill floor to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's just when you want to learn how to get good and be good beyond that very basic action that um, it gets more complicated. And I think that this game kind of struggles in that the basic action of clearing enemies is sort of all it has and is also the most complicated thing you do and whenever you get a chain it's very rare that it's due to anything that you planned out in advance just because you don't have, you have so little room to maneuver that you can't you almost never can set up those chains but yeah But it, it, it's different just in the sense that if you want a game that's immediately forces you into having to understand the basic complex action of the puzzle game, this works for that. It's sort of like if Poyo Poyo forced you to do chains at its most basic level. Yeah. And Poyo Poyo, Poyo Poyo basically does force you to do chains in order to beat the later levels. You can't... You won't be... Um, fast... You won't clear enough of them to, and send enough to your opponent to beat the game otherwise. But... Um, you can use that more of a, as a starting point, unlike in this game. Yeah, I would agree with that. But all right, I think that'll do it for. Uh, I think that'll do it for us. Um, okay, so we're not uh, going to be looking at the NES version. I really only want to look at uh, one version of the game. Um, the, it's ba it's basically the same. There's a few little differences, but yeah, it's similar. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So I I, I don't feel too bad skipping that. So so next time we will start with um, Wario Blast featuring Bomberman, and you're thinking that's a pretty short one, Gums? Yeah, I I beat that game in an afternoon. So. Okay. So. We'll do that, and then, time permitting, uh, Virtual Boy Wario Land would be next, so I'll need to get that squared uh -huh. away, too. But okay. Alright. I, I doubt we'd be able to finish both of them, but we might get a pretty decent start on Virtual Boy also. Sure. We'll play her by ear. But, uh, until yeah. then, uh, thank you for tuning in, folks. Hope you all had fun. And, uh, we'll catch you next time. Yeah, catch you next time.